today we're making some self-portrait drawings. We're going to be tracing ourselves, um, our self-portrait, and you're going to do a pattern or design in the background. Um, when we're done, we're going to go over it with permanent marker because here's what happens if you don't use permanent marker, it gets pretty blurry. This picture. You're going to take this, you're going to take your, I have an overhead sheet here, clear sheet, and you're going to take a marker. Um, these are wet erase markers, wood erase. And I'm assigning you the color table that you're at. That's the color you're going to draw because I want an even number of every color. I'm going to put these on a display. We're going to put the whole schools together. And it's going to say, we are Parkside Panthers 2018 to 2019. And I just like to display them all together. So as you can see, I'm tracing around, go around the whole outside of the head. For the hair, if you want to show hair, I'm doing like little jaggy lines. I don't know if you can see that or not. And here, so first you're just doing the outlines. Now I'm not going to draw everything I see because that would be probably too much. So I'm picking out the main details. Like I didn't get every single line that I can see in the ear. I'm going to get the outline of the eyebrows. You can outline it would be one way to do it. You could go, if you want to make them look like, like the little hairs there, you can. I'm going to outline this now. I'm going to, out, I'm going to underline. The nose is harder because you can't see the exact lines. So I'm going to do the outside shape first. And if you want to do a few of the other lines to show the nose, you can. And I'm also going to get these lines here where he's smiling. Kind of show that he's smiling. And then get a, make sure you get a little bit of the shoulders or the neck because our, our faces, we don't, they don't float in midair. Now when you're done with that, if you want, you can slide it down to the white part to see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. And then you can do a design. You can do, I can do spiral lines. Whatever you do, choose something and repeat it all the way around. And then I'm also going to do dots. Now when you do dots, don't jam your pen down. These are kind of expensive. And what happens if you jam it? What would happen to the end? Okay, it would get, it would get smashed and then the next person can't use it. And I want to use these for other projects this year. So we're not smashing it, we're just very gently tap, tap, tap. Now listen, can you hear that? You shouldn't be able to hear it tap, tap, tapping. It is very gentle. It's not smash, smash, smash. It's very gentle tap, tap, tap. Now notice I'm not coloring anything in. Because we're not coloring it in because the color is going to spread as it is. The only thing is if you want to show, like Sam has short hair, so I'm going to just do some little short lines. On your tray there's some damp papers and you're going to take one of these papers off your tr off the tray and you're going to turn your paper upside down. Make sure you have the side that you were drawing on, otherwise it won't transfer. And this is I'm going to make a print. Now notice what happens when I flip it over. What's going to happen with the way his face was facing? Look in this photograph. We traced. His head is slightly turned. His nose is more towards this side. Now it's going this way. So I'm not pounding it. I'm just gently pat pat patting and then you take it off. And there is your print. Um, when you're done with that, I'm gonna have you go on to the next thing you're gonna do. You're gonna put it off to the side and we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna give that some time to dry off a little bit. Now you're gonna find the middle of the face and I'm gonna fold my paper here. Find the middle of the face. And you're gonna try and draw the other side. Our faces are like a mirror image. And one way you can kind of measure with your fingers. I see it's like two fingers across, two finger widths across. It's kind of how wide the, the head is here. And I'm just looking directly across. I'm very lightly sketching first and we use a pencil to start with. You can barely t see where my lines are. You can color it in. And then I'll let you know when we're gonna go back to this. Um, please wait until I let you know because I want this to dry. It's going to get a little drier than what it is right now. But we're going to go over the main lines with a permanent marker. We're not going over all the lines. And we're doing this again very gently with our markers because again if the paper is a little bit damp it makes the tip of the markers kind of fuzzy which can be kind of bad for the markers. So we are very very gently going to use these markers Please show responsibility and respect for your supplies when you're doing this by being very gentle with your markers. And you don't have to outline everything. 
but just the main the main outlines here okay and then that color will continue to spread a little bit more as the paper dries 